He came after me because my efforts put the Inquisition in his way. Perhaps in more ways than you've considered. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Unanimous. You all have that much confidence in me. All of these people have their lives because of you. They will follow. That wasn't the question. I will not lie. Handing this power to anyone is troubling. But I have to believe this is meant to be. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. concern must be the order and safety of this world, not the next. I'm not chosen. I have chosen. And I will lead us to victory. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corisius except that he wanted your mark. Someone out there must know something about Corythius. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corythius intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Sedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I don't want you promising things on my behalf, Barrick. It's more like making good on promises I've already made. The point is, there's help waiting on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Barrick has brought who I think he has, 
Cassandra is going to kill him. Oh, totally. <laughs> oh. This is the Inquisition. Mm. A dusty old ruin filled with Bastion's sword. I really, really wish that we gotta keep that sword. Or at least make it uh, into our, uh, own, our own weapon, you know? Oh well. <clears throat> Alright, let's give a quick run through of uh, Skyhold. I got through that a lot quicker than I uh, thought I would, so. Now, what did they make down here, and what can I make? <laughs> Serve the Lord. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, you'll be alright. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. Everyone needs time for this transition. Time won't help. Purpose does. And I've got a load of it. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family ammo. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. You've got it all up and running. Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. But ever forward. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Alright, so we got some nice stuff here. Um, if you have the Deluxe Edition, you can get uh, res or schematics here to make the uh, armor and whatnot. The uh, dragon armor, which is pretty cool. Also, have access to this, which allows us to change the design of uh, what we have. Alright, for Nexus. I have no new beds. We can get those over in uh, Balrio. Drapery as well. Heraldy. Can't, we don't have any of these yet. We won't get those for a while. Again, if you download the Deluxe Edition, you can have the Skyhold uh, throne here, which is pretty cool. And still this stuff. Alright. So, so far, the only thing I can do is my Grey Warden uh, stuff. Hey. <laughs> That'll be, uh, later. We got a lot of shit from my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, quests. There we go. Alright. Here. Okay, Josephine, you have a quest on ya. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade. I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Uh, perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. That'll actually be quite a bit later. Speak of Barak on the battlements. I'll do that in a second. Nice new war room. I like it. Got a 
perk as well. Yeah, I'll go through that later. All right, we also have a lot of uh, quests. For stability, thank you. Later, later, later. Are you all right, Leliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was Canis. trying. Need that. Yet. Not yet. All right. I'll unlock a few of these later. Ooh, look at this. I want to unlock uh, the what is it? I can't remember what they're called. Fuck, specialist, the specialist quests. That way, I have something to do off screen. All right. So we have an Arcanist now. Let's go down and uh, check out, check on them. For those that played Origins, this may be an interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. Magical advisor. Oh, you're her. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. The breach was pretty, too. In a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> you're not quite what I was expecting. You're a dwarven Arcanist. The only one? When you learn things everyone says you can't, you get to be the first. I don't need to tell you. I've looked at Harris devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. No disrespect meant to the classical trade, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Dagna. Show me what you can do. You want fire? The first ask is always fire. It's fire, isn't it? Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here, just like normal. Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. You'll see. They'll all see. <laughs> Alright, so what she can do is actually pretty interesting. If we go into uh, weapons, we can all, you know... We can make sh uh, some nice shit, like, uh, for example, let's go with the Frost Ring. Actually, how many of these do I have? Six, just exactly. Nah, I'm gonna save off on that. Alright, we can also create uh, Masterworks, which are pretty nice. Where is it? Uh, let's go with one of these. Yeah. Okay, Masterworks are a new material, let me, uh in a typical dagger of mine. There we go. I'll do. Basically, they are... They'll give us special perks depending on what we use. For example, this will give a plus 10% stat if it falls underneath the 30% ma of Masterwork. So, everything gets plus 10%, which is pretty wicked. I'm just going to put it in just because I doubt I'll make it. Yep. You'll know you'll make it because it'll go down the list showing you, what you what's happened. So you make that, and then enchantments, 
pretty much the same thing as it was before. Uh, where is it? There it is. Just put in a rune and voila, it's enchanted. Yeah, that's about it. It's pretty damn helpful though. You can get a uh, masterwork gear by pretty much mining it. Just keep mining over a uh, drake stone, for example. Eventually, you get a fade touch drake stone. Eventually, an enemy will drop a fade touched item. It's all pretty simplistic, but it, it really does work. Curious. Ah, I can't go down there yet. All right. It's a lot more uh, ruined than I remember. All right. <laughs> Skull, uh, not skulls, uh, uh, what's it called? Rib cages. There we are. Now we gotta go see, uh, Varric to find out who his mysterious friend is. Should be obvious who it is. That's the gingerbread man. Alright. Climb, climb, climb. There we go. What's up, Varric? And it's the champion of Kirkwall. I'm going to customize my own. And there she is. I'm going to actually uh, go off screen for a little bit so I can, you know, make Lilith, who was my uh, original champion of Kirkwall in Dragon Age 2 for this backstory. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, here it is. Lilith Hawk in Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, obviously, when I did Hawk, and when I did my Let's Play on Dragon Age 2, I couldn't make a Quinari Lilith, so... This is what she was when she was human, or pretty close to it. Anyway, let us accept. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Impressive view. Reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. If I thought like that, I'd never get anything done. How do you put it out of your head? I go out into the wilderness and find something that wants to kill me. That usually clears my mind. It always worked for me. And speaking of things that want to kill you... Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds. Turn them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Alistair. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My brother's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take him as far from Orlais as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family protected. Mero is helping elven refugees who were displaced by the war. I didn't want to take her away from her. Mero spent enough time fighting for her life with me. We'll talk later. I'll meet you across the city. All right. Uh, so it, it's it's a little surreal seeing Hawk here. 
Anyway, um, we're going to go to Val Royale real quickly so we can get some shopping done. Sarah, Dorian, Blackwall. Then we'll come back and uh, wrap things up to get ready for uh, the next set, pretty much. You know, I really do need to save. <laughs> I haven't done that yet, I, th I don't think. It's nice to be back in Skyhold, though. I've missed it. Haven is nice. I, I love the, uh, the snowy climate and running around and shit, but it just doesn't beat a castle. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some of the uh, stuff I get to do now that I'm uh, out and about. I can finally start making more of my uh, uh, logging stand and quarry videos now that I have access to every all the locations. Okay, there was something I was going to do when I got here. Save! Right. There it is. Yep, I haven't saved in a while yet. Alright, let's save here. Must control yourself in front of the and now we go in here. I have nowhere near enough money for it all. Okay, but I will get what I do want. Uh, windows, Canari. Bed, or lays three. Drapery was Dalish. Delish, Elf, ah, fuck. I get both. And the heraldy decor and throne I can't get yet. So I have to hold off on that for a little bit. Yeah, each of my uh, characters have their own unique tastes and builds in uh, their home. So yeah. Now, the main reason why I left Skyhold. Is because when you leave, you come back, some of the clearing has been done, so you can actually gain access to some things. Like now we can access the stables, which is wonderful. Uh, I should have some new mounts I can buy. Um, I may have access to the. Uh, was it? The shop that sells influence. But I think I get that later after I can get after I can start doing the decor stuff. Huh. We'll see. Alright, there we go. Access to the other areas. Oop, little lag, sorry. You done? Wonderful. Alright. The order was sent. Is there nope, not yet. The the press isn't here yet. We have them. Alright, check our mounts. Uh we do have access to some new ones. I'll be getting them off screen later. Again, no idea why I had to do that. Why I had to do that with a slight accent. Uh, let's look for coal real quickly. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. 
In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looked like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rift, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fumes. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. The smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty, here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. Solus tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. Any chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone hurt. It hurts, it hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover, or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't, and neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Ah, Cole's interesting. We'll work on him later. Alright, let's uh...
Excuse me, pardon me. Thank you. Let us head up here. We'll talk to uh, everyone else later. But what I want is in the... Oh, I don't see them yet. Probably upstairs. Oop. Love that room. Or this room. I'll go into that later. Because it is actually pretty interesting. Right. Here. Is it up here? It is! The, uh... Mosaics I've been gathering. Unfortunately... For me, at least. Or for everyone, actually. Um, two of the mosaics in the, uh, what is it? The hinterlands are glitched. One of which you can still get if you're careful enough and you're good at, uh, jumping. I'll show you guys how to get that one later. Uh, unfortunately, the last one, number 12, is currently impossible to get because it's inside a wall. As far as I know. So... I'll see if I can find one later, or find a way to get it later. Right, let's get rid of this. So I know which ones I've seen. So the tech theme is just reputation. No signs of danger in the path nearby. I will arrange for to ensure it stays that way. Most of friendship. Specialization, there we go. Liliana, if you'd be so kind. Inquisitor. Thank you. Rest I'll do off screen. Okay, so now we have access to the specialization classes for Nexus here. Um, everyone else also gained their own specializ specialization as well. So if you want to see what they are, check the rogues. Or check your uh, class, your, your fellow classmates. <laughs> for example, one of them is this, Tempest. With a statue of dirty tricks, Sarah takes the fight to her opponents before they, uh, ah, before they know they're in it. Being fast and hard, and it covered alchemical cut, uh, and if covered in alchemical fire, all the better. Basically, you get um, flasks you can throw at enemies that do magical effects like frost, fire, and lightning, and then boot uh, buffs. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, where is it? Cole has the other one, although he doesn't show it on a level. His is assassinations, which is one, which which is what Nexus is going to be learning. And then Varric. Ah, he isn't there either. Oh, motherfucker. He has uh, machinery. Um, I'm going to do a video uh, explaining in greater detail all of the uh, classes and oh, tips on them. On them. But for now, I'm going to recommend this to everyone, regardless of what class you're playing. Do all three quests. This way, you have the opportunity to... to uh, experience each of them, save before, you know, turning it in, and when you go turn the quest, get the stuff, use a amulet to, uh, uh, amulet renewal to get it fixed, and go out and test them, actually use them. So, it's actually pretty interesting. It's a good way to tell, yeah, I'll go with this one. Anyway, that is it for this set. I'm going to go off and do a shite ton of stuff. Next set, uh, we should have our class done. And have a lot of new stuff. Probably even even the deluxe edition. So let's see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Let's Play. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and please feel free to like. It really does help me out. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.
Bye.